Welcome, welcome to 2025, the new BigQuery GA4 data transfer. Let's dive in. Alrighty, first we're actually going to play a video from a few days ago, which when we recorded this is uh, setting up the data transfer. We're going to show you we're setting up the data transfer. So let's dive into that first. So before we play the video, I just want to show you the post that was released. Um, so on March 26th, this was the day BigQuery releases functionality. Um, they sent out a couple of links. They sent out this link, which walks through how to set up the new data transfer. And then this link, which told you the tables you get. OK, um, we posted this within hours of it going live. So this is a great thing about being part of Measure U. We posted this video for our members. And as you can see, our members jumped on it and there was lots of discussion on this. So it was awesome. So let's go watch that video together um, on setting it up. We walk you through all the steps and then we'll take a look at the final tables together. Hey, hey guys, so Google dropped an update on us this morning. There is now a data transfer for GA4 that doesn't just give you the raw events, but it gives you tables and it also gives you historical data. This has to be an update that we are all watching and definitely testing. So I'm just going to make this go away and now we're going to walk through the setup. So do note that when you come into here, there's two links you want to be aware of. This is the schedule of Google Analytics for transfer page. It gives you dozen steps you need to follow. They do need to be followed in Google Cloud. And then if you go to the report transformation, I'm going to show you that page. It gives you a breakdown of the tables you get. Do you know you get historical data too, which has to be a huge win and something that Google was missing in the past. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just for myself to follow the steps along, I'm actually just going to click this link, go to data transfers. Okay, I'm going to close this one. We're just gonna, okay, so I'm going to let this load. You may end up with a red bar at the top here. Just note that all you need to do is enable the BigQuery data transfer. To do that, you're going to come to the drop down. You're going to go to API and services. You're going to go to library, uh, sorry, enable APIs. And then you're going to go to library. And then in here, you're going to type in BigQuery data transfer and hit enter. Mine is enabled. I'm going to show you how it. So it's mine says manage. Yours may say enable. You're just going to click enable. Let us do a thing somewhere between two to five minutes. It'll be enabled. Okay. So let's get set up and let's get this going together. Okay. So I'm literally just going to follow the steps. So it says create a transfer. Click on create a transfer. Okay. On create a transfer page, do the following. So source type select do, do, do Google Analytics 4. Okay. Property ID. I don't have my property ID handy. So I'm going to pause for a second to grab that. Alrighty, so I just brought up Google Analytics 4. This is our Measure You Google Analytics 4. I went to admin, I went to property details, and my property ID is here. So I'm just going to click copy and then move that back off the screen and pop that in here. I just did a control V. Okay, so I'm going to make this go away and go back to the steps so I can go here. Okay, so in the data source, enter the property ID. In the refresh window, enter the duration of your refresh in days. The refresh window has a default of four. I'm just reading what's on here, guys, just so you can follow along has a default value of four days and can be up to. So I'm going to say, um, leave it as default for now. Okay. Destination is, I'm literally just looking here in destination, select the destination data set, select the data set you created. Okay. So the truth is I don't have a data set for this. So I'm going to go do this live together. So we're actually going to go into this one. We're going to go into the three bars. We're going to go to BigQuery and we're going to go to studio. We're going to create a data set for this. I don't want this to go in the same data set as my current GA4 because I want to keep this separate. So you're going to hop into here. These are data sets. Remember, they're in your neighborhood. So as you can see, there's this analytics one here. So I'm going to create another data set. I'm going to call this GA4 scheduled transfer. Spelling does matter. And I'm just going to go create a data set. Pretty quick and dirty. Okay. Hop in here. Let's see. It is not here. Let's try load data sets again. I may need to refresh this page. Okay, we're gonna have to refresh this page. So let's go back and create a transfer again. And we're gonna go Google Analytics 4. We're gonna pop our property ID in. We're gonna keep that. And here we go. Okay, so we did that part. Okay, so then I'm gonna hit continue. So now let's go back to our page. And it says transfer config section for the display name, enter the name for the data transfer. The transfer name can be any value that lets you identify the transfer. Okay, so because this is measure U, I'm actually gonna call this measure U, capital U, lowercase U. Okay, schedule. Um, I'm gonna keep it at just going here. So it says in schedule, select either start now or start at a time for repeats, choose an option of how often you want it to run uh, in a valid UTC time. Okay, so I'm gonna say start now 
and I'm going to repeat every the only support. Okay, that's fine. Report every 24 hours. That's fine. Okay, service account. Let's go read what it says here. As you can see, we're following along. Okay, optional. Oh, you know what? This is optional, and this is optional. So I'm actually going to skip the optional, the service account. Um, I'm going to do email notifications, and do 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 do. do. That's fine. You can keep the advanced option as Google Manager encrypted key. And now we're going to hit save. Alrighty. So I had just entered my password and now I'm going to sign in. Alrighty. We're going to have to give it access. And uh, you may want to do this through either an admin account or just somebody who has, you know, rights in BigQuery. So just make sure whoever does this has the rights in BigQuery. Let's see what happens, guys. I'm excited. Alrighty, so you got to see all the steps we took when this came out to get it set up. Now let's go take a look at the final tables in BigQuery together and just take a look at how the data transfer is doing to date. So here we are. We are in console.cloud.google.com. We've come to the project we set this up in. We're going to click on our hamburger menu. We're going to go down to BigQuery and we're going to go to data transfers. As you can see, our data transfers here. Now, we did have a couple of errors the first day we set it up. We have to remember, the first day we set this up was also the first day it came out. So errors were expected as numerous people, hundreds of people, were hitting that data transfer at the same time. But as you can see, over time, the data transfer started having successful runs, which was awesome. Now, let's go take a look at the final tables. We're going to come back to our hamburger menu. We're going to go to BigQuery, and we're going to go to Studio. I'm going to give it a second to load. Then we're going to open up our project. We're going to go look for our data set, which was GA4 scheduled transfer. Open this up and you can see we get a number of tables in here and all the tables have different purposes. Just going to move that a little bigger. So I'm going to come in here and take a look at this so we can see the e-com purchase table. And these, just so you know, these symbols are views and these are tables. The views are based on the tables. So they're, these, these are views are based on the tables below here. So if I was to come in here, I'm just going to quickly do a quick query to kind of show you what's in the table in the view. I'm just going to do a select star. This will not run a lot, but I can TBV how much it's going to cost us right here. And take a look at this table together. I'm going to shove this up a little so I can see that we have our item names, our item IDs. This is awesome. And we have the dates we've sold stuff and the revenue, which is a normal GA4 format. So this is awesome. So this is the data you get. These are the tables you get. Now, there are a few things to note when it comes to these tables. Those are those tables that you're getting from the data transfer are an API export, not the raw data export like you would if you link GA4 to BigQuery. What does that mean? It means that the data is aggregated. You are getting aggregated data in those tables. So you're not able to drill down to the event level. So let's go take a look at those tables and take a look at our linked BigQuery tables and see uh, just a quick difference. Okay, so here I am back here. These are all my tables. So what you're seeing here, or if I go to the traffic acquisition table, and I'm going to run a quick query on this table. I'm going to go query. And I'm going to do a star again. And I'm going to run this. And I'm going to make this side go away so you can see the data a bit more. So as you can see, what this is showing is it's showing that source median. Now do note it's first user source median and it's aggregated. These numbers, these are full counts of how much you got on that day. Versus if I come back into the repository, I'm going to come back in here and we've also linked our GA4 to BigQuery. So we have this analytics and here what we have is a very different type of export. I'm going to show you this export. I'm going to go into preview and show you this export. What this is, this is when you link GA4 to BigQuery. And in this case, you don't get aggregated data. You get data down to the event level, meaning that I can look for a specific event like page view, but this data is not aggregated, right? You can see a very different view here. It's a single row for every single event. So these two exports serve very different purposes. This export that you're getting through the data transfer when you schedule this is basically an export using the API. So sampling, thresholding, cardinality, those are all going to be applied on this export versus this export, which is a raw data export, doesn't have things like sampling, right? So there's that big difference between them. If you are looking for numbers closer match to the UI explorations, you're going to want to lean on this one, but do know this is aggregated. If you are looking for more data that's not sampled, you're going to want to lean on that raw data export. There's a quick overview of what you're going to get when you set up this data transfer. It is fairly easy to set up. It took us no more than a couple of minutes as you saw to get set up and you do get all this data in BigQuery, which you can start reporting off of. 
One of the biggest advantages of this export is it does do a historical load. So you can load your history um, into BigQuery and then potentially set up this for later. So you can merge the two using a data prep tool like Analytics Canvas or Supermetrics, any one of those you could use to kind of cleanse your data if you need to. So there you have it. That is that new data transfer for BigQuery in GA4. Um, do want to recommend if you found this useful and you want to talk more about this, you have questions, join our free community at measureu.com slash workshops. You can go there, you can join the community, you can join that discussion about this export or anything else so that you can learn more about this export or learn more how you can use this export for your day-to-day -day clients. So there you have it. That was 2025 new BigQuery GA4 data transfer.